hello friends welcome back to my channel and today we are back with another exciting tutorial so this will be a, a great tutorial on Jenkins so what we will do in this tutorial is like how to push a docker image to docker hub using a Jenkins pipeline so what we will do is like uh, we'll be creating a automated uh, Jenkins pipeline script where we can build uh, our docker images and you know that image will be pushed to our docker hub so the scenario would be like you're uh, you know you are a developer who have a github where they will be having their source code where you know uh, you will be creating your uh, application like in this tutorial we'll be using a node.js app so similar way if you have a different app you know you'll be keeping your you know source code on the github or gitlab or any other source code repositories and we will have a jenkins master and we'll also using a docker uh, machine which will is also another linux machine which will act as a, a jenkins slave on which docker is installed and we'll also have a docker hub so the whole uh, process will be like you know you will be committing the changes into the github of your uh, application so what will happen is uh, using jenkins uh, we will check out the code from the github so that code will be used in jenkins for uh, building your doc image so we'll have a docker file using the docker file we will be creating our docker image so we'll use docker build command and we'll be creating a docker image and that docker image will be pushed to the docker hub using our jenkins pipeline so we'll have docker logging happening there and pushing the image to the docker hub so we'll have our version of our application image in the docker hub so which can be used to uh, download it later point and you can build your containers and all those things but we'll be stopping until uh, the phase of docker hub and we'll log out from the docker hub so the steps what we discuss is like we will clone the node.js project from github and uh, build the docker image using docker build command and we'll log into the docker hub and we will push the image to docker hub and then uh, then we'll log out from the docker hub so these are the complete step-by-step uh, -step phases so we'll have five uh, stages in the pipeline so each stage will have its uh, actions so we'll be able to see like what the end you know each phases get completed and we'll have this uh, image pushed into the docker hub so some of the pre-requests for this tutorial is like uh, we are not going to show you how to set up a Jenkins master so you should have a Jenkins master if you don't know how to do that I will link uh, the you no know, video for that in my video description for this so I have already created videos for how to set up Jenkins master Jenkins slave all those things so you can refer my videos in this video description so you need a Jenkins master then you also need a Jenkins slave where we have docker install so you know we have uh, docker set up as a jenkins slave separately why because i'm running jenkins master as a docker container if you are going to use the same uh, you know uh, machine where it's you're not using going to run as a docker container so you can have the same machine so you don't may not need a jenkins slave setup and you also need a docker hub account uh, where you need to log in and uh, upload the image right so you need that docker hub account where we have to create an authentication key and we'll use that to connect and you also need, need a node.js sample app or you can use any other app as well but you have to modify your docker file according to that so that's all the basic concept now we will get into the actual demo so before i getting into the demo i would request you like uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel or if you are new to my channel kindly click on the subscribe button and also like this videos share and comment so I have uh, my uh, application node app underscore test where I have the index.js package.js uh, the tether is a test uh, uh, file as well uh, I'm, I'm, I don't have to use the test at this point this is more of uh, not building the image but you know we'll be using this for uh, in the upcoming tutorial how to deploy uh, test and uh, doing all those things with node.js and I have also a docker file and you know you can create a Jenkins file here and you can put the pipeline here itself so that you know it can act as uh, the pipeline from here but I will show it in the Jenkins first then probably you can use that into the uh, your github repository as well it's directly as a Jenkins file now moving on to the docker hub I have uh, logged into the docker hub and if you see my contents I don't have any repositories and I also don't have any images pushed here okay and uh, I have a Jenkins instance running 
and if I go to manage Jenkins and go into manage nodes you can see there is a node called Linux and uh, this is a uh, no, docker uh, node so where I'll be using that to run the docker build commands and all those things now if I go back uh, you know, uh, this is uh, th this is already run setup for this so how how our uh, whole pipeline would be looking like this like we'll have five stages where we'll be cloning building login push and declare or post action build where we'll be logging out okay so let uh, we are going to create this so before creating that what we require is i need to create uh, an uh, key uh, you can use your user id and password directly as well from docker hub but i prefer like you know i go to security and i create an access token so you can click on a new token and you can create a token so you will be getting a token uh, from uh, docker hub so and that i will uh, go to uh, docker uh, manage credentials and i will add it here okay so you can see i have uh, one for docker hub right so this is uh, you know, uh, docker hub so this one is something old i will delete it so i don't need it yep this is for default uh, jenkins id so i don't need that i will delete that okay so this is for docker hub so you can see i have already created one for docker hub so you can uh, create uh, something like simply you can uh, let me see you can go to add credentials and you know you'll be able to get this in, uh, information like username password id uh, description so you can enter the username for your docker hub and the uh, password you can uh, give the access token and you can give a name here so you'll be getting uh, something added up uh, on the credential okay and uh, i have used uh, jenkins slave so i have used uh, an account to authenticate the jenkins slave as well so if you don't know how to set up jenkins slave as i said you know i have uh, have a separate video on that how to set up jenkins slave in linux and windows okay so what i will do is i'll uh, start the, with the creation of a new project and i will select pipeline and I will give a name for uh, the Jenkins job okay and I will click on pipeline and click on OK so we should be in this screen now we have to go to the pipeline script so we have to write this pipeline so I will use uh, uh, Visual Studio Code and I will show you the script and then you know uh, we will uh, copy that into here so before I get into the pipeline script, I just want to show you the Docker file. This also had a se I had a separate videos on how to set up, uh, you know, build a Docker uh, image from Node.js. So this is the Docker file where we are using the Node latest and we are setting the work directory, and we are copying the package.json file to this work directory, and we are running the npm install to install all dependencies and packages. Then uh, we'll be copying that. Uh, to the directory and uh, we'll be exposing you know the uh, port 3000 which will be used to connect and uh, we are using the node uh, index.js as the start so that's the all uh, overall thing for uh, the docker file now if I go to the pipeline script you can see I'm starting with the agent and I'm the, using the label as Linux because that's how I I have set up my Linux slave now the what we require is we need uh, you know the credential for docker hub so i'm going to use an environmental variable doc, uh, docker hub credential equal to credentials and i'm going to take it this from docker hub so this name comes from um, the docker uh, we have set uh, for example uh, let me show you sorry not here my jenkins credential now you can see this name has to be correct if you don't uh, give the I have given the name as uh, docker hub that's why I'm using docker hub if you are using a different name you should give that here okay the credential uh, on what name you have saved it now the stage the first stage what we are going to use is called git clone so I'm going to clone the project or app dot uh, underscore test git so this is the public project uh, so I don't need to give any account or for authentication here if you are using a private you'll have to edit it uh, based on that then uh, the sex next stage I'm going to use build and the steps is like I'm going to run docker build hyphen T 
these are default commands which you should be knowing about uh, docker so uh, i hope you know about all those things if you don't know you have to go through the docker uh, basic tutorial first then uh, i'm ha we have to give the name of uh, your uh, docker hub you know, account so if this is my account if it's yours you have to change it to that otherwise you know it will not be able to push it so this is mandatory like you know you have to give the name of your account and slash the repository name or the image name you want to give so i'm going to call it as node app underscore test and i'm going to give it as latest and the docker file should be in the same folder so it's going to be dot so this will uh, build this uh, image okay and um, you can see docker login i'm going to use uh, the, the credentials which we have stored and i'm going to use docker login new credential user and the password right so that will log into the docker hub and then we have to push it so the next step would be docker push and i'm going to use this image to that uh, our docker hub and at the end you know in all a cases i'm going to log out from docker okay so this is a machine where i have set up uh, my jenkins so if you see like the jenkins is running as a docker container so if you don't know how to do that or if you want to do it uh, the jenkins as a docker container you can use uh, my tutorial on that or uh, it's not mandatory that you have to run jenkins as a docker container it was uh, pretty simple to run a container and do that so uh, i have used the docker container uh, for jenkins okay so and if i go to docker images you can see i don't have an image for the node.js test tab which we discussed so we will see that it's getting created once we run the uh, image so let me copy this uh, content and i will go to uh, the pipeline script i'll put it here okay so that should be good so once we done that we have to just go and save it and i will uh, run the build so let me run the build and let me expand this so you can see you can see the uh, steps the console output so you can see it's uh, cloning the git it has uh, first saved the credentials over here right docker credentials now you can see it's uh, cloning the my github now let's see uh, the next stages we'll have to wait and complete if you don't have your image for node.js uh, in your docker machine it will start downloading the image in case if it's already there it will not it will go proceed with uh, the next step okay so to build the uh, docker you know you need the image so now in my case the image is already there so it's not uh, pulling the image otherwise it will take some time to pull the image now it has started the uh, building you know the docker app so you can see it's uh, doing the stages right work directory copying json npm install right so yes you can see it's it's proceeding so it's uh, completed that you can see right now it's logging into the docker and i think now it's uh, pushing to the repository so let's wait okay so we can see it has logged in now it's pushing so let's wait for so you can see it's push 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 yeah let's see uh yep it's almost completed great so you can see you know uh, it has completed the whole process it has completed the push it has logged out from docker and the final stage success so what will be the output if you go to my machine if i run docker images you can see there is a repository or image created right node app uh, test okay it's about a minute ago so that means the image is created and if i go back to my docker hub if i refresh okay i have to go to my content okay You can see I have uh, Docker, uh, sorry, tips for you, node app test, right? So there is already one image uploaded now. So this was not there before. So you can see it has uh, uploaded or pushed a minute ago, right? So 
uh, it's the latest image right so that's the one which we just created and uh, we just uh, pushed it to the docker hub so you can see that's a pretty simple process right so we have now our first uh, image available in docker hub so benefit is like now if you want to create any app from this you can uh, 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 so, uh, you can create containers using this image so it's not mandatory that you need to queue latest what you can do is you can use some uh, variables like uh, versioning so every time when you want to test you can uh, use you know uh, versioning uh, the image number one two three then you can keep pushing into docker hub whichever version so you can use that into your deployment as well so uh, we will see about the deployment in the upcoming tutorial so but if you see uh, the whole process it was pretty simple right so let me show you again uh, so you can see there are five stages now right git clone builds login push and uh, post action so if i go back to the configure uh, you have uh, this whole thing so you can just copy this and you can put that into your uh, gear repository as a uh, jenkins uh, file as well so uh, i will upload uh, the jenkins file also into this uh, link and i will share this link for this project as well into the video description so you can have a look uh, there as well if you want to have any information on what this uh, jenkins file is about so just give to give a recap like what we have is we have a agent under which it's running and we have a environmental variable to uh, copy the credential which we have set and cloning the git project building using docker build and logging into the docker hub using uh, docker hub uh, credentials and then we are pushing it to the docker hub using docker push and at the end it's a docker logout so it's a pretty simple process it's not that complicated um, but you just need to create this uh, pipeline correctly that's all so that is all for this tutorial i hope uh, it's an informative tutorial for you so i would request you to subscribe to my uh, my channel for more videos and also click on the bell icon so it will be very helpful like you know you keep supporting using by subscribing and also sharing these videos and also giving your comment uh, in, uh, and feedback so thank you for watching